Yongo Huiwa Level Three Power English. Welcome to the show, everybody. Hi, everyone. I'm Kristen Cho, and I'm Cameron Word. Yeah.、Mm. Um, Cameron, did you know that my mother? We were just talking about our parents,、mm-hmm. but my mother was a hanbok tailor. She made hanbok before we immigrated to the、America、U.S.、Uh-huh. in '76.、Mm. She was a quite famous <gasps> hanbok maker. In the heart of Chengdu, really? Yeah, <gasps> that's so cool. And so I think, wow, I wonder what would have happened if she had not gone to the states. <sighs> you know, it wasn't. We didn't go to the states because we were like, like we wanted a better life.、Mm. Like surely that we we did. She did in search of you know a better because her a younger brother was right, there and、right. always telling her to come, but. You know, all the hanbok makers、mm-hmm. that she used to work with—they all became really rich. And here is a woman at that time、uh-huh. who was going back and forth to Seoul, like to Dongdaemun, <gasps> and getting you know the the cloth、mm-hmm. and bringing it back. I mean, she was like a woman, a pioneer. Wow! And I think, wow, you know, I I think I have some of those genes. <sighs> It's pretty incredible. That's amazing. I decided to share that.、I、Can she still、why. make hanbok? Can she make me one?、Uh, I think if she tried,、uh-huh. we could. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure, but I'm, I, I think that it. She hasn't done it for a long time,、uh, but I think she possibly could. That's amazing. Isn't it amazing? That's. A, it's so、uh-huh. interesting. Like I don't have any cool skills、mm. like that. Yeah. My job is moving my mouth in front of a mic.、Uh, <laughs> a mic. <laughs> Like that's my skill. Me too. So people that like make things, <laughs> yeah, like move, like I just think that's so amazing. It is. It、uh-huh. is. Well, I mean, you know, our generation, we don't really do much with our hands.、Mm, <laughs> you know? No.、Um, but anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. I don't know why, but it's a little tidbit of、uh, Kristen's、so cool. family history. So spring cleaning. Yes,、yeah, spring cleaning. You'll be so happy with the results. Yes. Okay. Brighten up is our first expression. So this means to make brighter.、Mm-hmm. You know, in, a, in an actual sense, but、mm-hmm. even your mood, you can brighten. Up your mood. Sure,、mm. in a timely manner. In a in a good amount of time,、okay. a reasonable amount of time. All right, nooks and crannies. So n o o k s c r a n n i e s, crannies. So these are all the little small places, small spaces,、mm-hmm. often a room、mm-hmm. that may be a little difficult to get to. All right, all right.、Mm. We'll see how it's used in the dialogue. Let's go ahead and listen to our dialogue. Okay, I told my friends at the book club that I can't be there today. Thank you so much, honey. I promise you'll be very happy with the results. I have to admit that painting the bedroom really did brighten up the room. If we work separately, we'll finish everything in a timely manner. Okay. While I'm washing the windows, what are you going to do? I'll move the fridge and other appliances and clean all the nooks and crannies we normally can't reach. Okay,、uh, Brianne says. Okay, I told my friends at the book club that I can't be there today.、Mm. Okay, so she's okay. She can't go to the book club. And Cosmo says, "Thank you so much, honey. I promise you'll be very happy with the results." Okay. Okay. So what is going on? Yeah. So、uh-huh. they are spring cleaning. Yes. And one of the things that they were doing was painting their house. Right. Now they're they're doing the cleaning and everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Painting the bedroom. Yes. So Brianne says, I have to admit that painting the bedroom really did brighten up the room.、Mm. Okay. So、uh, because they're so busy, they canceled all the other plans. Yeah. I have to admit is a very common pattern. Yeah. What does this mean? I have to admit. Do you did Do you have a secret? <laughs> Did you、uh, do something wrong? Maybe. Okay. It can be used、mm-hmm. in that way.、Mm-hmm. So this is another way of saying I need to say.、Mm-hmm. Uh, and specifically in this situation, Brienne was not sure、mm-hmm. if it was worth it to paint. Her thoughts were, Ah, do we need to paint? Yeah. Can we just leave it? Yeah.、Uh, do we need to do this? But、mm. she saw the results, and so she's kind of like, Okay, yeah. You were right. Yeah. So that's why she's saying I have to admit.、It's、right. Like, 
Yeah, I must say yes. that this did brighten up the room. Right. So she had another opinion. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, gosh. Yeah. She didn't want to do it. And now she's saying, well, actually. It was pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm glad we did it. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Now, brighten up the room. To brighten up the room means to make the room brighter. Mm-hmm. So it is, they changed the color. Yeah. And changing the color of the walls oh, yeah. of a room really changes the mood it sure of does. a room. So right. maybe they were, it was a, like a dark color mm-hmm. and they painted it yellow. Yeah. That would definitely brighten up the room. So I think our listeners may wonder because here in Korea, uh, we generally use wallpaper. Mm. But in America, they use a drywall. Like they yeah. don't have, well, you know, homes have uh-huh. wallpaper, but generally for apartments, it's paint. Right. I mm. would say, yeah, wallpaper is a little bit of an older style mm. in the U.S. Right. It's a different type of wallpaper. Mm-hmm. So it's not like people come to Korea and think the walls are gold. Right. But newer houses in America mm-hmm. are almost always paint. Yeah, paint. Yeah. And so that's why even if you're renting an mm. apartment, you could still paint your walls. Yes. Okay. Now, brighten up the room, brighten up your face. Maybe a certain like eyeshadow just brightens up your face or your yeah. foundation. Or even brighten up the picture. Oh, brighten Let's up the picture. Let's say you take a picture and it's too dark. Right. So you go into your photo, yeah. photo mm-hmm. uh, editor, yeah. your photo editing software. Yeah. Right. You can brighten up the picture. Okay. What does Cosmo say? If we work separately, we'll finish everything in a timely manner. Okay. So um, separately. So to work separately is work not together. Mm-hmm. You know, they yeah. are not doing, they're not in the same room or they're not doing the same action. They're each doing their individual thing. Yeah. Okay. We're doing things separately. We'll finish everything in a timely manner. Mm. So when will they finish everything? In a timely manner. What does this mean? Which means we'll do it in a good amount of time. Mm-hmm. It will not take too long. Ah, so I think that's the thing. It will not take too long. Maybe we won't do it right away, mm. but we'll finish in time. Yes. Is the feeling that mm-hmm, I get mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in a timely manner. Yes. And Brianne says, okay, while I'm washing the windows, what are you going to do? Cosmo responds with, I'll move the fridge and other appliances and clean all the nooks and crannies we normally can't reach. Okay, here's a fun expression, nooks and crannies. Yeah. It's a very weird pronunciation and word. Yeah, Or it words. Is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is one of the words, so this, if, this is a set phrase, nooks and nook. crannies. Mm-hmm. The first one, nook. Nook can be used in other places. Mm -hmm. The other word, cranny, I've never heard before. Alone. Other than this phrase. Right. So a nook by itself Mm -hmm. is like a small place in a house Mm -hmm. dedicated to one action. Mm. So it could be a breakfast nook. Yes. A very small place, a small table to eat breakfast. Right. A reading nook. Uh-huh. A small little place in your house. Mm-hmm. It, maybe it's a bench. Okay. In a window. Right. For you to read. Yes. Right? Right. Uh, but when you say nooks and crannies together, mm-hmm. it's those small little places that you don't usually go to, you don't look at in your house, mm-hmm. but they often get dirty. That's right. So, or dusty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I have a small space between my sofa and my wall uh-huh. that gets really dirty. Sure. Because I don't walk there. Right, right. And it's hard to get the vacuum. Right. That would be a- It's true. Like a little nook and a cranny. Also, sometimes refrigerators too, like- Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, like on the sides, Uh both, there's like a small space that's very hard to reach. Yeah. So, it's hard to clean those areas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or like, oh, between the trash can and the cabinet. Oh, yes. Like you don't move the trash can all the time. Mm -hmm. So, that's kind of like a nook and cranny. Right, right. There's a little like- spaces that are hard to reach. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and listen to this dialogue one more time. Okay. I told my friends at the book club that I can't be there today. Thank you so much, honey. I promise you'll be very happy with the results. I have to admit that painting the bedroom really did brighten up the room. If we work separately, we'll finish everything in a timely manner. Okay. While I'm washing the windows, what are you going to do? 
I'll move the fridge and other appliances and clean all the nooks and crannies we normally can't reach. Okay, it's time for Power Note. Uh, we're on pages 118 and 119. Brighten up means to make it more, give it more color, light, you know. Yeah. Energy. Energy. Mm. I replaced my old sofa. What do you think? I love it. The pink flower pattern really brightens up the room. Yeah. So a little bit of a splash of color <laughs> uh, tends to brighten up yes. the space. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I bought two tall lamps and they instantly brightened up the living room. Mm. Mm -hmm. So these are both instances, examples, mm -hmm. situations where uh, it's the physical thing you see, the, mm -hmm. the room, mm -hmm. or, you know, it can be a painting, but you can also brighten up your mood, brighten up your mm. expression. Oh, okay. So, yes. So like, let's say someone looks very, you know, gloomy. Mm -hmm. They look sad. Yeah. Mm, bad day. Mm. Yeah. But then they see someone, they see a friend mm -hmm. or someone they like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they smile. Mm. That would be their face brightened up. Yeah. Right. Those so every time I, or, you know, listen, every time we see our dogs. Oh, yes. When we come home, mm. doesn't that brighten up our mood or yeah. our expressions? Yeah. And the same with the dog. Mm -hmm. Usually the dog is like, where is my owner? Yes. <laughs> but the moment they smell you, they yeah. hear you, they see you. I know. Their expression, their yeah. expression just brightens up. You know what's so sweet when I go home? Sometimes when no one's home, mm -hmm. um, little Scotty is waiting by the door. Oh. Oh, that makes me like, oh. And he like, wags his tail. Yes. <laughs> As if he's just like waiting just for waiting someone for to come home. He just, he's probably hungry. Where's my food? Where's my food? Come home and feed me. Okay. So it, we can use this expression to brighten up a certain space. Mm. Um, and it doesn't necessarily mean that it makes it lighter because people may think like brighten means have more light. Yeah. It, it's more about just makes it kind of more colorful, uh -huh. makes it more happy. Yeah. Yeah. Because it could be mm. the light. Yeah. It could be the color mm. or it could just be the pattern changes. Right. Like it was a solid, like in our example, mm -hmm. it's not a solid pattern. It's mm. a flower, flower pattern, pattern, a floral pattern. Mm -hmm. So it, uh, you know, it makes it more fun. Right. That's right. So make it more fun, mm. happy, um, lighter, all of those things. Yes. Okay. Now, a timely manner, in a timely manner, means to be done in a reasonable period of time. Yeah. So the question is, what is reasonable? I mean, that, that is the question. <laughs> right? Okay. Who knows for sure? Mm -hmm. But it's not saying fast. Mm -hmm. It's just saying a reasonable amount of time. Yeah. Like, it doesn't have to be done immediately as fast as possible. Right, right. But, you know, don't take too long. Okay. When do you need me to finish editing your manuscript? There's no hurry, but I would like it done in a timely manner. Like, you can you can yeah. take your time. Yeah. Just, like, don't take five years. Right, right. Mm. So it's... it's... <sighs> It's it's kind of like there has to be some understanding yes. between the two parties mm. to figure out what a timely manner is. Yes. Please pay back this loan in a timely manner. Mm. Okay, so when do I pay you back? Like it doesn't have to be tomorrow, Uh huh. but don't wait two years. Right. Right. Maybe pay back in a couple of months. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. When you can. You know, just what a normal person uh -huh. would think is a reasonable amount of time. Right. That's to, to do it in a timely manner. Okay. It's still kind of confusing. Let's give one example. So let's say you're like mm. building a house. Yeah. Some places it, you can get a house built really quickly. Right. And other places like the construction worker, eh, take their time and- yeah. Don't do too much. Right. But you, you want them to finish it in a timely manner. Yeah. You don't need the house done tomorrow. Right. But a house doesn't take five years to build. I found I found that in the States, uh -huh. any construction work never finishes in a timely There's manner. There's always a delay. Never. Never. I have never seen that happen. Uh-uh. In Korea, forget about timely manner. It's like up 
in a few months. <laughs> it's very, it is very surprising how fast things can be built here. <laughs> in Korea, sometimes. right? Yeah. Okay. So there is that difference. All right. Uh, nooks and crannies are those like little spaces that are hard to reach. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Especially, you know, when you're vacuuming. Yeah. You'll have those nooks and crannies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you find the earring you dropped? We looked in every nook and cranny in this room, but had no luck. So in this case, it's saying that you really looked everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here, nook and cranny, you could, like in Korean, you say, kusok, kusok. Kusok, kusok, yeah. Like every corner. That's right? it. Right? Okay. Yeah. I added insulation to every nook and cranny to keep the cold air out of the basement. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when I was living in a Hanok, uh -huh. it wasn't that like cold air was coming in through the walls uh -huh. actually mm. i mean but it was the nooks and <laughs> it was the nooks and crannies ah. that little little areas the little holes and little cracks little holes and, and cracks and right mm, exactly mm. that's what made the house so cold especially through the doors mm. right yeah i mean they were pretty much covered yes but still there were little like areas where air could come in. That's right, yeah. The nooks and crannies. Right? I would say that nooks and crannies mm -hmm. is almost always used in a house setting. Mm. Almost not even other buildings. True. Not even really like right. a shop or anything. No. The word nooks and crannies uh -huh. is almost always used for just a... A house. A house. Yeah, or your apartment. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, very good. Maybe a car. The nooks and crannies of a car. Maybe. And when that's a maybe. Yeah, when you're like uh -huh. doing major cleaning on right, it. Right, yeah. right. Okay, power pattern, I have to admit, which means that I thought one way, mm -hmm. but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something different. I've changed my opinion. Yeah. I have to admit, I didn't think you were going to be here today. I have to admit, I was really impressed by your presentation. I didn't think it was going to be good. I thought it was going to fail <laughs> miserably. All right. But you did good. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I have to admit. Oh. Okay. Um, page 120 separately is our power vocab. Yes. So do check out that definition. And let's go ahead and thank our sponsor. Yes, thank you so much. And please, please drop by Audio Ohakdang. Pay a very small fee and you can re-listen to this program yes. as well as our live program, mm -hmm. Evening Special, Power of Vocabulary. Power speaking, speaking, Power Pattern. Power Pattern. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got a lot there. So many. Okay, have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Where sense.